so they are really appreciating what we're doing. The, re the, the reviews have all been great, uh, and the response that we're getting from the public around this project is tremendous. So we're just going to keep it going. Can you give us some more details about the new hit film, Mystified? Yeah, yeah, Mystified. I actually produced it, directed it. Um, I work with the artist. Um, I executive produced it as well. Um, I actually created the track, brought the talent together, and put the crew together. The, the story is basically around the reality that young boys and young girls are being victimized through the, by these perpetrators. And because we're not talking about it as a community, or we're afraid to talk about it as a community, this is a problem that just goes on and it gets worse as time goes on. And it becomes a cyclical problem in the community. So you have generations of perpetrators. And so after interviewing uh, survivors, we decided to do this project, or I decided to do this project, bring the people together to use it to raise awareness. And the thing that we've done that I think is really uh, innovative is in the video itself, when you watch it, at the end, you, if you are a survivor and you want to talk to someone, there's a toll-free number or an online site that you can go to for confidential counseling and free. Oh, that's so great. We're, that's you know, we're really about, you know, we're, it's more than talk. It's about doing the work uh, or inspiring folk to do the work and take action, positive action, uh, to, to heal themselves or a loved one. Sounds like you're doing a lot of good work on the West Coast there in the Bay Area, and hopefully that will expand outside your region and other regions into other regions where your type of work is much needed. Well, that is my hope and prayer as well. I'm very confident that as we continue on this journey, we will get realized by some of the major players and they will see the value in what we're doing, especially nowadays with the economy as it is and so many people in the community at risk, uh, that they will pick us up and they will help us to make this thing as big as, say, a Tyler Perry or an Oprah Winfrey, because that is actually one of the goals we have is to create a, uh, a film empire here in Oakland of that caliber. Well, SVOH would to like to help be behind that movement and help get this broadcast out to the world. Well, we, we certainly appreciate it, and the survivors uh, of all of the various issues that I talk about or that I do projects around appreciate it as well. Indeed. So, um, what other films do you have planned for the future to do? Um, I'm actually getting ready to do another program with youth around um, HIV and AIDS again. That seems to be something that's pretty prevalent in the youth demographic here. And so um, I was recently awarded a contract to pick up that project. And um, it's based on a marketing campaign I created about a year and a half ago. And we are now, the um, Alameda County Health Department saw the, um, the campaign I put together. They loved it. And they said, let's implement it. So they, made, they, they uh, did what they need to do. They got some grant money in. And that, that has uh, funded this effort. And so now we're going to be working with the youth and the music professionals uh, in the community, and we're going to implement this, this campaign uh, that could be me to raise awareness and get more folk screened for HIV and AIDS where we can save our futures, uh, be better informed, and um, overcome the stigmas, stigmas that keep us quiet. So that's the title, That Could Be Me? That's what yeah, we're so, looking yeah. forward to? Okay. That's it. That could be me. Okay. Certainly noble, noble goals, objectives. Well, you know, it's, for me, as one who really loves my, my community, and it's not just the community, but it's the people in the community as well, I feel it's incumbent upon me to utilize the gifts I have to help make things better, at the same time to enrich the lives of the people who I deal with by, by giving them access to the information and creating the opportunities uh, for them to learn some things and also get paid because one of the things we do is we always bring uh, people from the community on crew, whether it's uh, uh, camera talent or crew talent. Uh, we bring the people, the community in and we pay them because to me, it's more, you know, they say you give a man fish he eats today, you teach him how to fish he eats forever. And um, that's the model that we live by. We absolutely have a need, and I feel um, we are required to do more than just take advantage of the obvious skills that folk may have by helping them to learn some other things. Great. Fabulous. Well, YouTube fans around the world, 
You've heard it from the Dosio Javi himself. We need more people like him out on the streets behind these grassroots mobilization campaigns doing responsible work in our communities. And once again, Thank check you. out Mind. You're very welcome. Once again, check out mindworksnet.org and youtube.com forward slash Dedocio, D-E-D-O-C-E-O. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you, Dedocio, for being on the show. It's a wonderful pleasure. I'm truly honored to have this opportunity. Thank you for your support and helping us to get the word out and creating a better community for all of us. Likewise, thank you for being on the show and for spreading the good word. And by the way, you do have a sexy voice. <laughs> You're very kind, sir. <laughs> Well, that's it, folks, and please join us next time for another Sexy Voices of Hollywood.